Okay, so Jessica is asking, you mentioned earlier in a, a Q&A that you take Cocovia as a supplement. I'm unfamiliar with this supplement. What are its benefits? So uh, Cocovia um, has cocoa uh, flavanols in it. And um, one of these is uh, the EGCG. It's found in very high concentrations actually in chocolate. And it's been shown in studies to enhance blood circulation, improve cognition, and uh, actually even reduce wrinkles in um, in human studies. So uh, let's start with let's start with circulation. So there was a um, a study with elderly patients that had peripheral artery disease, and those who drank a beverage that had flavanol rich cocoa in it three times a day for six months were able to uh, walk. 46 yards further in a six minute walking test compared to those that drank the placebo um, beverage. And so uh, it was shown that the uh, improvement in their walking ability was a consequence to increased uh, blood flow in their calves and also improved muscle function. So that was um, a super interesting study. There was another study that was actually done in young healthy males that showed um, that dark chocolate improve their their cycling. So basically those that had dark chocolate were able to uh, cycle 17% farther in the same amount of time than those that had uh, the placebo control, which was white chocolate. Um, and it, the study also showed that they basically didn't need to consume as much oxygen to, to basically cycle farther as well. Uh, there was another randomized double-blinded crossover study in young healthy people that consumed uh, various doses of these cocoa flavanols, um, ranging from zero to 80 milligrams, or sorry, 800 milligrams of these cocoa flavanols per, uh, for day, per day for one week. And um, circulation and blood pressure uh, was, was measured. And so there was a dose-dependent increase in circulation. Um, effects were, were seen as little as, with a dose as little as 80 milligrams per day for one week. And the 800 milligram per day showed the best improvement in terms of circulate, improved circulation. Uh, the cocoa also decreased systolic blood pressure by about five points and diastolic blood pressure by about three points. So, so basically a person whose blood pressure was 140 over one, uh, 140 over 90 went down to 135 over 87. So, so those were the three studies that were involving blood circulation. Um, cognition. There's also been some studies with cognition. So, um, and of course, the improve, you know, increased and improved blood flow also means improved blood flow to the to the brain. Um, cardiovascular health is very, very tightly correlated with cog cognitive function and cognitive health in general. Uh, so uh, one study showed that a single dose of 450 milligrams of these cocoa, cocoa flavanols has been shown to increase blood flow to the brain as measured by MRI imaging. Um, so one of the areas of the brain that gets increased blood flow is the dentate gyrus uh, region, which is uh, part of the hippocampus associated with memory. And increased blood circulation translates um, to protection from cognitive decline. Another study found that elderly patients with mild cognitive impairment that were using up to 990 milligrams of these cocoa flavanols per day for eight weeks saw improvement in their verbal fluency and their mental tests compared to the placebo controls. So um, they also had an uh, improvement in their, uh, they saw a decrease in insulin resistance and a decrease in blood pressure, as well as a decrease in lipid peroxidation. So there were metabolic improvements that also corresponded with the improvements in, in cognitive function. And last but not least, the skin. Um, there have been, uh, there has at least been one study uh, that has shown that um, in a randomized double-blinded placebo-controlled trial in Korean women that uh, age ranged from their 40s to 80s that took 320 milligrams of cocoa flavanols per day for 24 weeks. They had an improvement in their, their facial skin wrinkles and skin elasticity compared to placebo group. Um, 
So, so I, I typically, I think, take around the 375 milligrams of the cocoflavanols. The reason I use Cocovia is because um, I've looked at some third-party testing. Uh, for example, uh, Consumer Lab has done pretty extensive testing on a lot of the, the cocoa. Um, they've done like chocolate bars. They've done the cocoa uh, supplements. And they, they've also done like um, the, the cocoa powders as well. And they've looked for a variety of factors, including contamination from cadmium and arsenic, lead. Um, these things are a major problem with um, chocolates, cocos, and things like that. And they also looked at the actual concentration of the cocoa flavanols. So there was, so there's a ratio. You know, um, you want to, you want a uh, a product that's high in the cocoa flavanols but low in the contaminants. And and uh, Cocovia was the absolute best in terms of lowest contaminants and very concentrated flavanols. And in fact, the Cocovia itself was used in um, several of the, the randomized controlled trials that I just mentioned. So I give it to my mom. Um, I also take it. And But one thing to consider is that it does, because it is um, uh, chocolate, it does have a, a moderate amount of caffeine. So it's something to take in the morning and not with, you know, not with your dinner because you don't want to take caffeine at night and, you know, you don't want it to um, disrupt your sleep. In fact, I've got, I've got my brand of Cocovia right here on, on my desk. So typically this is what I, I take. They also have an unsweetened um, packet that you can make like cocoa with. And if you want to add things like monk fruit or stevia to it, uh, by the way, I have no affiliation with Cocovia at all. I just uh, happen to have done a lot of research on, on their, their brand and I like it. <laughs> 